everyone, it is Cyberforce, and so welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. And today we're going to be checking your bases once again in the Boom Beach base review episode, in uh, which we just give you some tips, some pointers, and just everything from my perspective that potentially I think would be able to help you out. And always in these episodes, we're checking three bases at random. I'm just picking them from the comments of this video. So if you want to be getting featured in one of the videos, all you need to do, head over to the comment section of this video and use the template that I got set up for you guys there. Uh, you might be getting picked. So that being said, let's jump into... Oh my gosh, I'm not even <laughs> into the game. Um, I think I was just preparing something and I wasn't even onto the game. But yeah, anyway, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be jump, jump straight into this. I got interrupted there, but that's okay. 2L GR 8L. And this is the base we're looking for. K the Stoner, who is a part of Monsters. Not really all that high level, but you know that is okay. And we're looking for the officer. We spotted him. 311 medals, level 42. And we're actually going to see what this base is going to be all about. So... This is uh, somewhat of an unusual base, I must say. Let's check the HQ. HQ level 17. Pretty high up there. Pretty end game already. I see a shock launch here, level 2. That is always pretty good. I see that you got your sculptor and upgrading right now. It's going to level 4. Um, I think it can potentially go up to level 6. But I'm not sure about that. So definitely get it up there if you can. Because it's going to help you out tremendously. Then let's check your landing crafts. Level 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. I think they can go up to like 15 or 16 even. No, not 16. But I'm pretty sure they can go up to 14. So try to upgrade those as well. Your radar's level 14. That is okay. And then um, I, I don't really understand these mines over here. Because if I were to be attacking this base... I'm seeing buildings over here, so I will be attacking that side over there. So if anything, it would be even better to put those mines there if you are going to be placing them. But what you could potentially do even better with these mines is place them a little bit more into the base itself. Or even in the front of things, so that way people are getting kind of scared to actually attack your base a little bit more. Uh, what I do like what you did here is actually because the sniper tower, the cannons and, and the rocket launcher is kind of protecting the right side over there. People are very less likely to actually attack the buildings that are over here because they're actually pretty well protected. So I've got to give you some props for that. Um, in general, I still do kind of feel this base would easily be uh, taken down considering the fact you got all of these machine guns over here. And the Warriors is just such a uh, famous combination to be using. So what people will be using is dropping a barrage onto the HQ and then make their way up to the base just like that and actually take it out. Because there's no machine guns to kind of stop that. In that regard still, I do kind of feel that this base might be working very nice. And uh, I'm actually pretty curious to know... What your defense log would be like. But I do kind of like the fact what you did here with your buildings. Definitely plus for that. Do we notice anything else? Your cannons are in pretty nice condition here. I kind of feel that this cannon over here. Uh, isn't really going to be doing a whole lot. If it makes sense. I would be swapping it with uh, the snipers in the front or something. But in general this is kind of bothering me. These machine guns over here. I'm not sure how it's working out for you. But I would potentially encourage you. To put some like offensive hitters in the front. For example like a, a sniper tower. Or a cannon. Or maybe even the boom cannon in the front. To kind of like counter stuff. Uh, so that way people don't really like. Are... I don't know, they just don't really feel like attacking you. And also, my recommendation for here is place this boom cannon. If you're not going to be changing this, the thing is if people are going to be rushing your shock launcher or your boom cannon, they're going to be hitting the other building as well. So what you want to be doing here is place this boom cannon at least one spot in the front here, uh, closer towards this machine gun, so that way they don't get both hit. But in general, pretty nice base. Uh, and let me know how it works out for you. That being said, let's move on to the next base. The next base we're going to be taking a look at is from Striker. And Striker is in the task force called 2Q and UYPC. And it's called White Guard. There's only 9 people in here. Uh, 1,387 uh, force points. Operation Early Bird has begun. Join if you want to be a member of the strongest team. Well, you guys know what to do. But actually, actually uh, Striker right now, level 42 as well. But this time around, 426 uh, medals. So that was the area that I've been in myself not long ago. So I'm able to relate to your base. Let's actually see what's going on here. We got an HQ level 17. 
We got one shock launcher. Um, this rocket launcher over here is kind of bothering me, honestly. I don't feel it is really being utilized all that much. Uh, I do kind of know it is covering the entirety of the base. But look at the amount of range that you're missing here. If we're actually taking a look, this is all you're missing. This is all that's not being used, uh, which could potentially could be used. Like, for example, this cannon over here. Like, the right side is actually pretty deadly because of that already. Let's actually go over your landing crafts here. So, level 12... 14, 14, 14, 14. Uh, try to get these up to level 14 as well. Gunboat, level 16. Pretty nice. Sculpture. Where are you? Over here. That looks pretty good to me. Level 6. So, um, Kade Stoner, try to get it up to level 6. Because, um... Definitely is going to help you out. And Striker actually said, I'm really tired of getting raided 5 to 6 times per day. Which I kind of understand. So let's actually see if we're able to help you out. Now one thing that I notice is that you're entirely offensive. So that is immediately your bait for people who are going to be attacking your base. Because you got no defensive statues in that regard. So there's no additional health on your HQ. It's just only 85,000 health. So we got a... Let me actually see. Uh, masterpiece for troop health 20% uh, Troop damage 17% I didn't even know it could go this low I think this is like the minimum or something like that So yeah you definitely want to be replacing that with a better one As it comes along And then we got a uh, masterpiece for gunboat energy 26% We got a resource reward masterpiece 30% That is alright And um, there, of course there's still some room for improvement Just But just keep on doing terror uh, You get there eventually anyway so, let's see what do we see here. Well, just like the shock launcher, uh, the uh, just like the rocket launcher, the shock launcher, I kind of feel the, the potential that it has is kind of being wasted if you place it right here. As a matter of fact, it would even be better where this golden storage is, uh, because uh, it would cover even more of the base, including the shore, and that's actually pretty essential. And as a matter of fact, I would pretty much consider putting a few of these buildings where some of these buildings are and just swap around it with like some other buildings so that way you can actually tighten up your defense a little bit more. Essentially what is important about the base in Boom Beach is that the coverage is actually uh, being fully utilized. So for example, the location of this boom cannon is absolutely great because it kind of covers everything in the front here. It kind of covers something on the left side and majority at the right side. That is the same thing with this rocket launch. It kind of covers everything down there. So I feel in that regard is being kind of wasted. Um, let's actually see what we going, got going on here. This is actually a pretty nice layer of defense here. So uh, I would suggest keeping that. Um, you got a machine gun over here. That could be pretty interesting as well. I mean, uh, aside from the fact that you got all of those buildings relatively close towards the shore. It's still being protected pretty nicely. Sorry. It's still being protected pretty nicely by these uh, buildings over here. So that is a good side. Um... What else do we see? Uh, we see a mini machine gun over there. Well, mini. It's, it still looks pretty low level, but it's already level 7. So try to upgrade that to make it look even more dangerous. We got a cannon over here. Um, rocket launcher. If we were to be taking out this rocket launcher, which is very likely, uh, people will be able to get these four buildings relatively easily. Um... And this boom cannon. I kind of feel that the potential of this boom cannon is also being wasted. Just like these buildings over here. Because people are not going to be at your back of your base. They're going to go straight into the HQ. Uh, at least that's what I feel like. You might uh, you might be correcting me on that part. But I really feel that these three buildings are the biggest issue. So incorporate them a little bit more onto the base. For a base like this, I would have a boom cannon on each corner. Uh, not entirely hugging the wall or anything like that. But the location where this cannon would be, a boom cannon there would be great. And another boom cannon on the location of this cannon over there. Because it gives you total control of that little area very close towards the HQ. So I hope that helps you out. And we're going to be advancing on to the last base of today. And the last base is going to be from... Let's actually see. It is Chappers. And QY0. And then LC8 U. So we're gonna go to Elite Force 2.0. This is actually a pretty high task force. Is it like one of the top ones out? No, it's actually not. Uh, but 
As you guys can see, top two on our task force, they're actually really strong. And this is actually the strongest guy in there. So, uh, I had a message, um, this is one of my task force buddies. He wanted to get his re uh, base reviewed, please. Uh, I applied last time, but didn't get the chance. Uh, but you got your chance right now. It is entirely at random, I'm always selecting the, the ones like that I see, like the moment I see them. So, it is always entirely random. But let's actually go over this base. Uh, Max style base level 61. It's gonna be hard for me to kind of like uh, try to uh, because I'm not at the level yet but we'll see what we can do so obviously on HQ level 20 you got two shock launchers I immediately find that this uh, shock launcher is being not really well utilized because obviously the rage you want to be incorporating a little bit more into the base so swap it with that residence over there also Having a boom cannon next to a rocket launcher, not a good idea. Same thing with the uh, sh uh, shock launcher and the boom cannon there together. Uh, definitely not recommended. I do kind of like this boom cannon and this boom cannon over there. Uh, rocket launcher over there is very nice. I like the uh, overall layout of the mines. Look at this. You, you really have a corner base that is kind of protective against the warriors. But then again, um, this base will pretty much easily be wrecked. By warriors if uh, the, the person attacking you has everything boosted up and I think that has everything to do with the fact that your corner base is extremely cornered out there so there's no like there's no uh, a spot in between there to put the flamethrower next to the HQ or something like that so that way it doesn't that doesn't get shocked as a matter of fact if you were to place the headquarters two spots to the left you could even fit the shock launcher in and uh, make sure it never actually gets shocked so that might be a tip uh, from my side right there in general obviously everything is maxed out I think I think pretty much everything is maxed out level 61 um, what do we see over here uh, because obviously people are gonna be attacking from the left side kinda need to think here because this is an interesting base um, if anything, you know, I do kind of feel that this base was randomly placed a little bit. Um, as in, like, we're going to be placing some of the buildings up here. I really like the offensive uh, stuff that you got going on here in the front. That's definitely a plus. Keep that up because that's definitely going to help you out. So these cannons over here, the spreading is just really great. Um, if you got the amount of cannons to do it, I would actually recommend it. If your cannons are high enough level to do that and back them up with a sniper tower. That is a really great tactic over here. Got nothing to complain about it when it comes down to that. And then... Um Let's actually see. It doesn't seem like a lot of these buildings are like giving out free or anything like that. So that is a good thing as well. Let's actually go over the statues here. We um, actually got, yeah, sculpture level 8. Great. We got a masterpiece of building health, 31%. That was really cool. And then over here you got a 35% building damage. That is actually excellent. Then over here you got a uh, power stone chance masterpiece. Still can improve obviously, but still pretty good. Um, Gumball Mas uh, Energy Masterpiece, the same level as mine, 40%. You got some Guardians over here. Don't really got to um, add anything to that. Um, let's actually see, what do we see? Yeah, just in, in overall, I honestly feel uh, what you could potentially improve is just make sure that if, if people are going to be barraging you, that the buildings aren't too close together. Like, this is a no-go. This is an absolute no-go. You can drop barrages, hit the both of them together. Both buildings are very essential of taking, for taking down a base. So, uh, really wouldn't do that. Especially near a shock launcher. Shock launcher should be in solitude. A shock launcher should be connected to nothing. Because people are always going to be aiming for them, shock launchers. Um, also, one more thing. Uh, that's one thing that I want to be rounding this base off with. Uh, all you need is two shocks to get everything over here. Two shocks. Uh, one shock to get all of these buildings over here, plus the mortar potentially. And another shock to get all of these buildings and double do that. So I I'll be careful with that. Um, honestly, I would change that up because uh, you're also going to be getting the mortar. If I were to be dropping a shock bomb... Onto the boom cannon, I'd be getting all machine guns, all flamethrowers, the boom cannon, and of course the mortars. And it would render it useless. So that is my evaluation of this base. And overall, I do really like this tactic, honestly. This tactic is something that I've not seen before. Uh, at least not being utilized on a higher level. 
and uh, I like this. I like what you did here with the sniper towers and the cannon. So definitely keep that up. But other than that, uh, you know what to do. So that's going to be doing it for this Boom Beach base reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, if you want to be signing up, all you need to do is head over to the comment section of this video and make sure you leave your information in the template that I got set up for you guys. And that's going to be doing it for this episode. So once again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, make sure that if you guys like this video too, boom, give it a thumbs up. And that being said, this has been Reversal for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.